is North Tybee Island to be exact. Of course you can see the ship over there. That's like one of the things that we love about this beach is that we can see the, the ships come in and out. Uh, there's like an inlet over there that the ships follow up into Savannah. Um, there's lots of fishing rigs out there. And earlier we saw some dolphins. You can see lots of people here. And it's the day before Mother's Day, so I didn't think that there was going to be a lot of people here being kind of still early in the year, but I was wrong. Lots of people here. You can see the lighthouse over there. On the Goonies? Oh my gosh, because you're wearing the Goonies shirt. <laughs> that would be perfect. Let's see. All right, we're gonna hold up right here. Okay. Kind of load in groups of five and six so we don't overload that dock there. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. No. No, <laughs> we haven't had any passengers fall out. That's our boat? He said he came prepared. I did. <laughs> Yep, we're just hanging out right where they are now. Alright. Also, when you let you stand up, and place your children, anything upon the metal rail, do not stand sick, not do, try to use it as a set of monkey bars or anything else. Try over there, the we're going to go on the skull boat. If you're 18 yeah. and older, you can go out on the boat. Three. Okay, I recommend the back so he can kneel on the seat to get a better view, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? Four girls. Four boys. Four here right now. Four boys. Hey, my buddy. Hey guys, one forward. How many is it? Three. I got sitting on the front of three and seating. We're on the front of the boat, dude. We're right by the captains. Who's yelling up King of the World? Turning us around. That's oh, slow. It's slow, buddy. Don't worry. Look, there's our captain. Going to take us for a ride. Look, there's the lighthouse over there. Yep, the little lighthouse. But I don't like to, so. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, be sure to hold on to those hats. This is a hat taking machine. To date, we have lost 222 hats. I want to put it back. one weave on this boat ride, so I don't know what we're going to lose tonight. Maybe a unibrow set of adventures, maybe a King Charles Cavalier. We'll figure it out. But anyway, we'll pass the mic over here to Mr. Eric. He's going to be chatting with you throughout the trip. The little dog he's going for. And by the way, if your hat or sometimes if anything does go flying into the water, be sure to raise your hand, get our attention. We'll all join in raising our hands so we can wave bye bye, okay? <laughs> So, so, so sweet. First of all, you're standing up. 
enough. Second of all, leave them for the people alone. Just because you're my mama don't mean you get to bother these people. <laughs> perfume or cologne they're wearing, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen, so don't do that. Now, front of the boat, lady in the green tank top, I know you've been dying to stand up. Now you can do it. Go for it. Stand up. Come on now. Go for it. There we go. She did it. All right, guys. Look around to George Gray's here. You'll be seeing quite oh, a few. there's some over there. They're splashing around right over in front of Mark's there. Look, they're right there. No, the dolphins. Right inside. Right inside. In the water. Dolphins! <laughs> All right, so I mentioned this is a great opportunity for dolphins to feed. If you look right here. Right off the back of the boat, these guys are okay. so okay? Oh Whenever my gosh. Uh, they're pushing off the side and then through those little holes. That's why these dolphins are hanging out. If you're looking for that free meal. This is like a floating buffet out here. Who doesn't love a good buffet? <laughs> still in 13 feet of water, which is some of the deepest water we have out here. And we're, like, this close. So, again, if y'all were worried about, you know, whatever, I mean, the beach is, like, right there. That is, uh, the North Beach over there. It's one of our beautiful pictures. Alright, for example, that'd be a really pretty picture right there. Now, these, uh, fully grown can be anywhere from about... Six feet to ten feet, weighing 500 up to 900 pounds. They roughly eat about 40, oh, the 30 to 40 pounds of food every day. So the water you can so see why these shrimp boats would be such an attraction to them. Over there. WWE over there right behind us. <laughs> now we, have, we do have a couple babies in the water. So be on the lookout for a baby dolphin, okay? You, you know how you tell the difference between a baby and an adult? They're a lot smaller, very good. They're also darker in color. They're actually more nearly black in color. So they get, oof, there's one right off the back of the boat. Maybe off, off the back.
Christmas chicken. Strikers or shrimpers, sons of captains, so uh, they really are working hard so we can enjoy this uh, this bounty. By all means, try to buy local if you can, guys. It's what keeps these guys in business and the dolphin in this area. I'll tell you what, this is just fantastic. Look at them all right here, Leo, right there. Oh, wow. We gotta keep our game up sometimes. Do not come and see us in there. March or November. You see? will not see this many. <laughs> but we do appreciate right here, right here, right here. There's one over here right now that looks more triangular, like a shark's fin. His name is Finn Diesel. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to tell you a few more. Like, you're gonna turn them on to me now because they're not laughing at your jokes. I see how it is. Yeah, guys, uh, I've been with the company seven years, and uh, I've gotten to name several of these dolphins out here. They've come back time and time again every single year. So um, before I came here, we had very generic names, okay? Let me see if you can guess what they were. All right, we had one dolphin that had a chip in its source of Do you know what we call that one? Chip, yeah, very good. Okay, we had another one that had two little nibbles on its source of you know what we call that one? Nibbles! Yep, we have another dolphin that had spots on its back. You know what we called it? Spot. Steve, y'all were so close. No. <laughs> All right. So anyway, here's the deal. I'm a big fan of puns. I found out real quick Derek is not a fan of puns. So I actually did name Finn Diesel, okay? I really did. That's because six years ago, I saw this big buff dolphin with a, you know, with this triangular looking fin. And then as soon as we popped up near him, he like sped off. He was like, boom. I was like, man, that's a big buff dolphin that's got a need for speed. I'm gonna name him Finn Diesel. That's where he got his name. We got a female dolphin out here that only hangs out in the shallow water. So I was like, who do I know that's a shallow fe Finn Kardashian? Nailed it, there you go. So yeah, then we got Finn Kardashian. And in honor of a very popular Netflix show in 2020, because we had nothing else better to do, there is a female dolphin out here that is suspected of killing her husband. We call her Carol Bastman. Killed her husband Wang. Yeah. So yeah, it gets pretty bad around here. Now, Derek figured out that I was naming them these bad names and shut it down, so I'm not allowed to name them anymore. However, uh, we do have one though, his um there's dolphin's got a little nick in its store spin, and we call him Nick. And Nick was a bachelor, okay? For like three years I was always seeing Nick with the ladies until one day. I saw a baby dolphin right next to Nick, and I was like, oh my gosh, Nick's got a son. You know who named that dolphin? Richard. Richard Nick's son. Oh, it's a stretch. Yeah, it gets worse and worse as we go along. You're welcome. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. That's where the party's at. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun. 
Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys are enjoying our little dolphin tour with us. We're having so much fun on this thing. Liam's loving it. We surprised him with it today, which that's like the best. Mother's Day gift in itself is seeing my kiddos happy so and having fun surprising them. Something is on fire over here. No, I think it's a ship. Oh, it's a ship? Uh, okay, well that would make sense. That's better. Unless the ship's on fire. Unless the ship's on fire. <laughs> True. That would not be good. Oh, there's the lighthouse. Oh yeah, Liam, there's the lighthouse. Yep. The same one that we were by today. That's a nice looking beach right there. Jeez. Now, how do we get out here? Now, guys, uh, you know, this is uh, one of the ships that actually, or boats that docks, uh, just kind of on the other side of the bridge where we dock. Looks like they usually take it out for a nice, uh, nice weather here. But tell you what, man, it does not get much better than this. Sometimes the Atlantic Ocean is very angry. If you look over here on the right hand side, it looks pretty much very, very calm. I'll tell you what, since we got a great opportunity, I'm going to get y'all a little bit closer to that big old boat. What y'all think? You want to get closer to the big boat so you look at it? The perspective is uh, way different when you get up closer, yeah. But do you see that boat way out there? Dude, I didn't think it was him, but I looked him up and I just texted him. That's my buddy Tim. You see that boat way out there? It's a big boat, okay? The crazy thing about Tim, man, he's always wheeling and dealing. He bought that boat for a whopping $5,000. That was wow. it. It's a nice boat. Y'all know why he got it so cheap? He bought it on sale. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know who the heck that is. I don't even have a guy named Tim that I know, so that's just my sailboat here. Yeah. Let's get on closer up to this uh, container ship, though. Let me tell you a little bit about her, as I got a fancy dancy app to tell you just about anything. I'll tell you what, they did come from Panama. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Took them four days, four hours to get here. Wow. Well, this is a cool boat. Now I know why it's smoking. 1999. That's actually very old for a container ship. We are right next to the container ship. How is that land? Her name's Ellen. It's right there on the side. <laughs> I'm going to get you closer, but this is about as close as I'm allowed. I used to drop off Good. bar pilots on smaller 200 foot vessels, and I had to put this boat up beside the other boat on like stormy dark nights and it's like, yeah, I had my fill of that. I done did that. I crossed it off my bucket list. Not a fan anymore. Like two in the morning. Yeah, no. Responsible for a bar pilot's life. If he fell between me and the big boat, he was gone. The big wave in the front of it. So neat. Look at that 
big yellow fella. We may, in fact, get a stunning sunset. We don't know. What we can guarantee is the sun will set. If it doesn't, we got bigger issues to worry about. So. But just a matter of fate, my friends. Well, let's go on over to that little uh, little lighthouse to see. Mom, the sun's so pretty. I know. I want copies. Guys, I wish that like you could be here seeing this with us. This video is, I'm sure, not doing it justice. Absolutely beautiful. This is also attached with another historical figure in Savannah, the Waving Girl of Savannah. Is anybody familiar with the Waving Girl of Savannah? Liam, do you see the light all the way around? No. Okay. Over there. That way. <laughs> she waved a lot. Over there. Yeah, like 40 That's years of waving. Now, she was the unofficial the greeter, uh, self-appointed greeter of Savannah. And for 44 years, she waved every ship in and out of the port. Her father was a lighthouse keeper here for many years. So. Now, although short in stature, she is mighty. She has survived several hurricanes, tornadoes, lightning strikes, and even the Civil War, where over 5,000 cannon rounds were fired from Tybee and from Cockspur Island at Fort Pulaski. Over the top, she made it through unscathed. Now, folks, uh, if you found a day a five star worthy event, want to leave us a review? Just. If it was a four, three, two, or goodness gracious, a one star review, just remember that my name's Captain Gator and his name is Kim, and you're right on the monster boat up ahead of us. That's our sister ship. We'll give that one to them. So I say sharing's caring. <laughs> well, folks, we have done all the damage we could possibly do for a absolutely stunning sunset afternoon here in the Low Country. So, peace and love, shrimp and grits. I'll see you guys very soon. We're on the top floor of our hotel which has a hot tub and a pool. Really nice little area. Awesome views. you're wondering, this is the Holiday Inn Express, which I don't think I've ever stayed at before, but I'm kind of impressed with how nice it is. Really nice seating area here. Very cool. Very, very cool. So we have a ship coming into port. Big ship coming in.
Mm -hmm. So you can go right? Or yeah, that's right. right. This should be it right here. Yep. Oh, okay. Alright guys, this square is where the infamous Forrest Gump was filmed. Um, the bench is not there anymore. That was just part of the set. But this is the square that it was filmed at, where he sat with his box of chocolates and the feather floated down from the sky. I think maybe it's on the other side here. And there's Trolley Tour right here next to us. <laughs> yeah, so I think like looking in from this street up is where the bench may have been. statue over there. Could be wrong on the placement of the bench, but it was this square for sure. So where's my Forrest Gump fans at? Make sure you leave a comment. And these trees are just absolutely magnificent. Look how huge they are. I think that's my favorite thing about Savannah is these trees. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. And it's called the Sixpence. <laughs> Madison Square. Madison Square, but not the Madison Square. <laughs> this is the Southern Madison Square. Gosh, mm. you saw that? Yes. Hit a Volkswagen Beetle for tours. Could definitely get into some tight spots. I know. streets here in Savannah have brick on the streets. Which makes for a very bumpy ride. But it looks awesome. Look at these houses. They're so neat. Like picturesque. There's a balcony and so pretty. Look at the horse. People buried here. Yeah, look at them. It smells like horse. I know, horse manure. The downside to carriage rides. <laughs> You're getting the downwind. Everything horse. Horns, there's another horsey. The president's quarters in. Parking lot. That looks like an old building. Now we're on the more modern side of just we're the only horses and mustangs. Mom, we have subway here. My gosh, they have subway. Did you hear that? It can be art. Mm. <laughs> Food is art. Okay. Nice super.
Yep, come on, bud. All of these bricks have names on them. Different manufacturers, I guess. Reynolds Catskill. See how old these buildings are. Okay, Amber, if you ever get to watch in my videos, this one's for you. These trees are just so beautiful. Magnolia. No, we're not gonna go down there, buddy. But what if? <laughs> oh, there's the fireboat, Liam. Fireboat. Yeah, so if like one of those boats catch on fire or they need help, those are the boats that go help them. These are very good. Ooh, I love this one at the end. So yours? Beautiful. <laughs> Better at Savannah. Oh, Liam found doggies. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, now you have two balls. Oh, boy. <laughs> One of the very popular spots down Savannah. <laughs> Her name is Cruella. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's awful sweet to be named Cruella. You never know when you adopt them what's going to happen. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Here you go. That's a big river boat. We're going to do it's 30, 31 something per person. Oh my gosh. Oh, the Nope. That's a very steep staircase. <laughs> Cheaper. No, nope, I don't think so. So I've lost about 35 pounds since this national part of the same problem. I've lost 25 pounds since the Savannah Candy Kitchen. Candy. Candy Kitchen. Candy. I bet you do. You want to walk in? We can walk in. Oh. Yeah, that's probably good. Candy apples. I wonder what this was. Once upon a time. That's an expensive gas. $7.98. Way more expensive than the gas in Helen. It was zero dollars on Helen. 49 cents per gallon. Oh, 49 cents. Well, what's the seven ninety eight? Oh, that's the total sale. Seven ninety eight. Okay. Uh, this place went to still more expensive than the gas in Helen. I mean, look at these dum dums. They're like as big as my hand. They're Bryant's favorite. <laughs> oh, there's the frogs. Nope. Candy for days in here. 
Here comes the trolley, Liam. <laughs> Back up the stairs. Certainly, yes, you may. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Georgia Hussars, established 1736, Mounted Rangers, General Oglethorpe. Hmm. It's a big old tree. And I love all the Spanish moss in them. It's so pretty. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to our Instagram page. Follow us. Ooh, we got some women of the night and somebody. He has a rat on his shoulder. Yeah. Hey, what's your pet rat's name? Is my pet what? The... So we found a nice secluded spot today on the beach. Really nice area. And these little ones here found a bunch of jellyfish. But according to them, they are cannonball jellyfish, so they don't sting. I'm not taking my chances because I don't know anything about jellyfish, but pretty cool nonetheless. They've been picking them up and throwing them back into the water, trying to save them. So I'll take their word for it that they don't sting and, you know, good on them for picking them up and throwing them back in. That's pretty cool. They're kind of all over. It's a cannonball jellyfish is what these are called. And there's the dolphin tour that we were on last night. I think, I think that's them. They've been out here a couple of times. The water is much warmer on this side of Tybee. We are um, on the north side of Tybee. Nope, that's not the dolphin tour. That's somebody's private boat, I think. The dolphin tours have like a monster logo on one and then a skull cross and bone, like the Goonies, which is the one we got on yesterday. Logo on the other one. And that was Derek's dolphin cruises. Very, very fun cruise. I highly recommend that if you ever come to Tybee. Um, according to one of the captain's mother, she rode on the boat with us. Um, it's Mother's Day, so I'm sure she was here visiting her son. Um, but that was the most dolphins, bird just dove into the water. <laughs> um, that was the most dolphins that she'd ever seen, she said. So I think that we had a really good, really good tour. So I highly recommend it. The sunset one is even better in my opinion. We've done the daytime one and didn't see nearly as many as we did last night. And the lighthouse is somewhere over there in the distance. And I don't know if you can see it. Um, the little lighthouse that we saw last night on the dolphin tour is kind of like right, right there. So neat. Oh, we see dolphins out there. Dolphins, hi dolphins. There's so many dolphins here. It's unreal. Oh, look at all of them over there. There's at least five or six of them over there. Hey everybody, it's Steph and B and <laughs> Fleepy. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for coming along with us on our journey to Savannah and Tybee Island. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, we certainly did, obviously. Um, we're all wore out and headed back home. And until next time, we'll see you around when we're wandering around. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, and one last thing. We may see you around if we're wandering around. Or, no. that, that was a stupid. <laughs>